Good morning, everybody. Hey, everybody. Oops, tripped over a root. It is so wonderful to be back out in the woods, in the mountains. It's been far too long. And guess where we're at? Well, you probably know by the title of the video. <laughs> we're in the Smokies. <laughs> and we're gonna knock off some more of my 900 miler map. I'm really, really, really happy about it because we had, sorry, we had two trips planned this year that got totally ruined and totally different circumstances each time. And I really thought that this was not gonna happen this year. I thought we were gonna just be stuck at home until next year sometime. So this is very awesome. Well, today plans are, we are hiking Ace Gap Trail to Beard Cane Trail. And it's just going to be an out and back. And it's 19.6 miles today. Uh, this is the longest that either one of us have hiked in a very long time. Yeah, for sure. What was it? The Colorado Trail? Was the last time we hiked over 19 or something? It probably. Is, yeah, probably is. Oh my god. It's been a while. It's been a long time, guys. But the good news is... not. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not, a, it's not a lot of elevation gain, gain. So that's the positive part, which is why even though this is our longest day on trail, we're gonna be here for a few days. Um, even though it's our longest day, I wanted to knock it out first just because it is a flatter trail and rather do a flatter, longer trail first than do a harder trail that's shorter first because I feel that'll exhaust us more. <laughs> okay, so weather's gonna be gorgeous today. Talking about, I think, high of 77 or something like that and sunny. I think every day we're here is supposed to be 77 and sunny. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. Gee! Anything else to add, Retriever? Nothing this morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, then we'll talk to you further up trail. See you guys. So far, this trail has been nothing short of amazing. It's super well groomed. The colors for fall are wonderful. And it's been relatively easy. The climbs are not very steep. They're very gradual and a lot of flat. So I think we picked the perfect trail to start our <laughs> trip with. A um, little out of breath, but not terribly. It's been months since I've done any hiking at all. The Adirondacks back in July were the last time I did any hiking. And, uh, that's sad. That's really sad. Just had a lot going on and couldn't get out of here. But, I mean, now, oh, I'm actually not too disappointed that our plans have gotten canceled. Because if they hadn't, we wouldn't have been out here in the fall. And Smokies in the fall are beautiful. It's amazing that there's still flowers out. I've seen quite a few flowers. We are still on Ace Gap Trail. We only have about half a mile to the junction. And we just did a lot of climbing. Um, very gradual though, very gradual. It was just long. So we get to go down that when we come back, but then there's another place that we went down for a very long time. So we climbed that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the one part about out and backs that kind of stinks is what you just did. Now you have to go the opposite direction all the way back, but that's all right. All the hikes today are this, week that we're doing are going to be out and backs. So there's no loop trails. I don't think I have, no, I've got one, I think that's a loop, but all the rest of the hikes I have left on my 900 miler map are pretty much all out and backs. Joy, but look at this, look at this. Look at the coloring. It's beautiful. We made it. There's the junction, Beard Cane Trail. 4.2 miles till we get to the junction of Cooper Road, and that is where we are going to do our turnaround. 
Ace yeah. Gap was really nice. Yeah. It was a really good trail. Really liked it a lot. It's beautifully maintained. Just rolling hills, nothing steep, all very gradual. So if you're looking for a nice, easy out and back, even Ace Gap would be a good one to do. It's really, really pretty trail. And now we're about to find out about Beard Cane. I heard it's very overgrown, but we're at the end of fall. So I hope that it's going to be really nice for us. We'll see. <laughs> Catch you in a little bit. <laughs> Look what we found, you guys. It's a faraway tree. I wonder if we go in it where it'll drop us. Maybe at the end of this junction? I don't know if any of you know that reference, but uh, if you don't know what a faraway tree is, you should start watching the TV show From. Look at all the pretty flowers. Oh, so beautiful. Well, I think we see why people talk about Beard Cane. Um, it's a lot of these little creek crossings, which aren't terrible, pretty rock hoppable, but there's um, a lot of spots where the trail kind of, you know, veers off and you don't notice because it's overgrown. And if it's overgrown now, uh, just imagine how overgrown it is in the summer. So I recommend if you want to do beard cane, do it really early spring, really late fall, or even the winter time. We have just under a mile left and we just started a quite steep climb up to the junction and then we start heading back and uh, on the way back though we've got a good couple mile straight up climb because we were going downhill for quite a while so that's gonna be fun going back but I'm excited to get to this junction because once we hit this junction I will officially knock off two more full trails from my map. This is great. See you guys up there. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh, oh man. Made it. <laughs> Good job. Guys, we made it to the junction. Ah! <laughs> That's two more trails off my list. So we're going to take a break because as you can see, this is a beautiful junction um, to sit down and take a break. I've done all the rest of these trails. You've done all these? Yep. <laughs> like one, two, three, <laughs> there's, five there, of them. <laughs> there's a lot of trails this way, but I've done them all. These were um, the last ones on this end of the Cades Cove area. And yeah. then I have one more trail in Cades Cove that we have to do to finish my entire Cades Cove Abrams Creek area, which will be tomorrow. Really cool trail though. I really liked it. Yeah. Definitely like the first one more than the second one, but yeah, it was cool, cool, very nice day. So beautiful and the sun's come out. Although the sun was baking me in one part of the trail because there was no uh, tree leaves right there, but so glad the sun's out. This is the perfect day, perfect temps, perfect sunny. Perfect leaves. It's perfect, you guys. <laughs> <Totally> blue skies. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are going to eat and start heading back, and uh, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. See you guys. Oh, oh that was a leaf. <laughs> hey, guys. Change of plans. <laughs> Haven't heard that one in a while. Since we're Adirondacks. <laughs> so this basically, was my, this was my idea, though. Yes, blame him. <laughs> this is not me, you guys. This is not me. So if this fails miserably, 
which it really could. We could be in big trouble. Yeah, this is his fault. If but I'm does. taking the risk. Yeah, he's taking a risk with me too. <laughs> so what we're doing, instead of out and backing, we are taking Cooper Road Trail back to Cades Cove Road. It's five and a half miles about to get back to Cades Cove Road. Then we have to walk the opposite direction of traffic on Cades Cove Road until we get to, oh shoot, what's that road called? It's a winter one-way road. Yeah, so it's one way. It's exiting out of the park. I'm pretty much telling you there's, we're not going to get a hitch because if we get a hitch, we're going to, we're only going to start walking it as soon as we get on it because I can guarantee you nobody's turning off a of Cades Cove Road to go on this road out of the park. I don't see it happening. So Retriever wants to take this risk of us going and hopefully getting a hitch back to our car because he's never done this part of the trail I have, like I said. So he figured, hey, let's knock out this trail and possibly knock off quite a few miles off of our hike out, which would be fantastic if it works that way. If it works out, it's gonna be perfect. I have no faith. <laughs> I have no faith. I know which road that is. And very, it's, it's not traveled much because unless you're leaving the park to go to like Townsend and you don't want to do the whole Cades Cove loop, that's pretty much the only traffic that goes through there. Or if somebody's trying to get to Rich Mountain Trailhead or Ace Gap Trailhead from Cades Cove. Which is like probably 0% chance. Yeah. We were the only car there and we're the only person, people we've seen all day. Yeah. So, like he says, I'm a betting man. <laughs> I think our chances of getting hitch are 1%. <laughs> so, if, 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 if we do not get a hitch, our hike will be much longer than 19.6 miles. I don't know exactly. My stupid offline maps expired and I didn't download them again. So I'll have to wait till I get reception to figure out exactly how much longer of a hike we will have done. And it's all uphill on that road. So I <laughs> guess we'll find out. It's a risk. It's a big risk. I guess it's uh, not an adventure unless you do stupid stuff, right? <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. We'll let you know what happens. So even in the late fall, this trail is still quite overgrown. Oh, the last time I did it, it was late spring and it was way worse than this. So kind of feel right whoops. Kind of feel this is another one of those trails that is better to do in the cooler months. Just through the overgrowth. It's not a very trafficked trafficked. You know what I'm trying to say, trail. <laughs> so I don't know why. You think this maybe because it doesn't lead anywhere. So I was thinking, you know, it ends in Cades Cove, that it would be busier, but it's not. The last time I did this trail, I only saw one person the entire day. And today, Retriever and I haven't seen a single person on all three trails. We had it all to ourselves. It's so wonderful. And actually, we've been talking about national parks and um, all that. I guess there's some type of polling going on in the Smokies was um, picked by the people that was the most overrated national park. I think that's a load of crock. And, <laughs> and this is exactly why. Because everybody who comes to the Smokies, I'd say probably nine out of 10 people, stay off of 441 Little River Road. They go to Cades Cove, Alum Cave, Laurel Falls, you know, Newfound Gap, Clingman's Dome, all the same places. And so they're always like, oh, it's so populated. Well, yeah, if a million people all go to the same, you know, six locations in the park, of course it's gonna be insanely overcrowded. But I can't tell you how many times I've hiked in this park and have gone like 12 hours of hiking and maybe seen one person. All you have to do is get off the tourist uh, stuff 
go into the back country and you don't even have to go 19 miles to not see anybody some trails are just there's nobody on them it's amazing and then you get all this be i mean look at this look at this all this beauty to yourself oh i love it about 0.6 I'd say now from Kay's Cove Road and oh, wow look at this it's <laughs> so pretty oh muddy here and so we were concerned that we were gonna run out of water but when I checked the Smokies map I did see we were gonna have a couple possible creek crossings um, and we did end up you guys saw that water use the water source so we topped off because this was not the plan to do this trail so I hadn't checked water sources <laughs> for this one yeah last minute change yeah because we would have had water on the other way no problem yeah this one we weren't sure of I do remember wet bottom trail having some water so I figured at the very least when we got near the end we could veer off on the wet bottom trail and get some water so fine but we got water before that we're good to the end of the hike and if we are not able to get um, a hit we're doing some map reading and stuff and actually it looks like Rich Mountain Road which is the, the road that we have to take to our car is not steep I was thinking we were gonna be climbing like a thousand feet to get up there but in reality, it actually looks like it's just over, what was it, like a hundred? A couple hundred at the most, yeah. At the most? Yeah. I think it was like a hundred and some feet. So, that's not bad. It sounds like it's a pretty flat road, which is gentle incline. Sorry guys, I'm all over the place. And it's just... shorter than you thought. Yeah, it should be shorter. I was thinking that we were going to tack on like four extra miles to our day, but it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that. We might do an extra, what, two? maybe yeah i'd say two at the most one and a half to two yeah i'll probably when i get service because since my offline maps are downloaded when i get service i'm probably going to go ahead and try to map it out and see exactly how many extra miles we did but today ends up being 15.3 trail miles so that's pretty great yeah it's better than the 19.6 yeah as an out and back so an out and back right um, this is great because if Retriever ever decides to do his full map, he'll have knocked this one out. And this one really, it's kind of an out and back one, since there's no real trails you can really do loops with. I mean, it's be kind of hard. So I did this one as an out and back, and so it saves us. We don't have to do that. <laughs> All right, we're getting really close to the Kate's Cove show, so when we get there, I will show you how pretty it is. Made it out to Kate's Cove. The road walking is quite long. <laughs> And we're being just attacked by those yellow knockoff ladybugs. I can't, yeah, knockoff. I, I don't know what they're called, but the yellow ones. And uh, I mean, there are hordes of them. They are all over us. It's so gross. <laughs> but we're almost to Rich Mountain Road. Wish us luck on getting hitch. Well, on the way, we came across to the missionary baptist church and i apologize if you heard retrievers bad words but let's go check out this church and there's a cemetery there too Very cool. Let's go check out the cemetery. Have a lot of these names around here. Boys, huh? yeah. 
Well guys, we made it to Rich Mountain Road, right across the street from the church. And as I was walking back from the graveyard, Richie was like, a car just went up the road. I'm like, no, it didn't shut up. And he's like, I swear to God. And then another couple was telling us, they're like, oh, that road's not that bad. And I'm like, well, no, we're not driving up that road. I was like, we have to walk back to our car. And she's like, oh, this time of year, she goes, there's a lot of people using that road. So I'm like, oh, please. So we have hope. We might actually get a hitch back to our vehicle. <laughs> maybe, maybe, Retriever, maybe. We'll see, because... You can see people are going like they're going to turn down this road and then they U.E. back. So we'll see. Jerks. <laughs> we just had two vehicles pass us. One was a pickup truck with that whole bed empty. <laughs> and we asked them. I said, we're just trying to get to the end of this road. Oh, we got another one. We get good luck. That was our, our response. Let's try this one. No luck with that one either. It was a nice red brand new looking sports car with two elderly people in it we knew we weren't getting a hitch in that one but they did slow down to talk to us and told them we're just trying to get to the end of the road and they're like oh that's a long ways i'm like yeah thanks we know that's why we're trying to get a hitch but no they were really nice and i didn't expect them to put two dirty hikers in their really pristine sports car so wasn't expecting that, but God, that guy in the pickup truck, really? We didn't even have to go into your cab. We could have been sitting in the back of your bed. Come on, guys. You know, put good karma out into this world. Pick up a hiker. Got a car? Nope. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I saw this in the video, though. He's so mean. He's so mean. We're going to be walking this whole way. Watch. I'm going to tell you. We're going to walk the whole way. No, we ain't. Because another thing too, it's pretty much been old people going up this road. And I think old people are scared of picking up hitchhikers. It's the young ones that don't care. So we need like a 25 year old to come by and pick us up. <laughs> Guys, we made it back to the car. And uh, Oops. oh my God. We underestimated big time. That's that's putting it very, very just <laughs> kindly and nicely. We caught a hitch from this amazing people. They were a little reluctant at first, but they ended up putting down their tailgate for us. And so we rode on the back of the tailgate. Don't know how long this was, but we grossly underestimated how long this road walk would have been. And the map that we were looking at wasn't a good map. It wasn't the actual map. And the elevation was so wrong. So bad. Oh my god. This had to have climbed a minimum of a thousand feet. I feel, yeah, I'd say a minimum. I'd say so too. Throughout the whole thing. So it was bad. It was really bad. When we we would, estimated at like four miles and it ended up... I, we haven't mapped it out, but my guess is probably closer to eight, nine. Yeah. Absolutely. We would have been... Dead. We would have been so dead. I don't even know if we would have made it back to our car. We would have been crippled. It would have been the end of our hike. <laughs> it would have been the end of our trip. <laughs> that had potential of being one of the worst days of our of, lives of hiking ever. Career, yeah. Ever. If that didn't, if we didn't get that a hitch, oh my lord. It would have been really, really bad. <laughs> so those people that picked us up, they deserve karma times a million because they saved our, they saved us. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. So we're going to leave out of here. We're going to go to camp. And we're camping at Kate's Cove Campground tonight. And so we'll let you go here. And then we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. So today we did Ace Cap Trail to Beard Cane Trail. And then we did end up hiking down Cooper Road Trail all the way to Kate's Cove Road. Now this is where <laughs> we hiked Cades Cove Road. It ended up being 1.3 miles to the junction of Rich Mountain Road. And we discovered we hiked approximately a half a mile up this trail, or this road. This road does not look that long. However, we discovered after we were done this road right here is actually 
2.9 miles. Thank goodness we got a hitch. <laughs> so it was 15.3 trail miles plus roughly 1.8 extra of road walking.